We have Samsung, we have Alcatel, and HTC, and there's Blue, a new brand that's even cheaper. Half of the smartphones sold in Africa today cost less than 100 euros. Many of them are brands that are specifically aimed at emerging markets. The number of smartphones for 10 years, that has attracted big players from around the world and investors. Ernest Bankum is a technology investor who's moved back to Cameroon from Canada. He is setting up an incubator in the capital to nurture promising startups. He says the telecoms boom is creating the right conditions for a boom in African software. It's helping to reduce the cost of uh, access for many people. And we have lots of packages. In fact, it's actually cheaper for me to use internet on my mobile here than in <laughs> Toronto, you know, or even the UK. 90% of the smartphones sold in Cameroon use Android, an open system easy to make applications for. So conditions are ideal for a young generation of software developers, ready to provide apps for all the new smartphones being bought. Africa provides a blank slate, if you may, or a canvas, where these companies can come and try out these new technologies and deploy them. And so these young entrepreneurs are taking advantage of these technologies and really pushing them to address these issues. Some of the brightest stars of the Android generation have set up shop in a university town west of the capital, on the slopes of Mount Cameroon. Hey, African Tree, I'm Churchill, and I'm coming to you guys live from Silicon Mountain. Hi, right, Churchill. It's good to see you. Hi there. Yeah. So we are here on the slopes of Mount Cameroon. And tell me, why do they call it Silicon Mountain? Well, Silicon Mountain is a nickname given to this beautiful town of Boya. And what is down there in Boya? Yeah, down there you find great software tech startups, great software engineers, great mobile web app developers, people that do tech marketing, tech sales, right there. A lot of amazing guys. Yeah, sure. I can show okay. you around. Churchill takes us to Active Spaces, an incubator that is one of the centers of Boya's high-tech scene. Yeah. And was anyone teaching you? No, no, I'm self-taught. I taught myself how to cook. And now you have the, the biggest job search engine yeah. in Africa. Yeah, we can see that. Can <laughs> Churchill is being followed for the day by African Trip, an online community of young Africans around the world who share their day-to-day -day experiences via the video tweeting site Snapchat. Yeah. Actually, Snapchat, yeah, you just have to film and there's actually like 22,000 people watching as you go, you know? Yeah, it's in between Uganda, you know? So it's, it's amazing. Active Spaces is an incubator designed to attract and develop talent from Boya's three universities. The developers work on a wide range of products, but with one thing in common. Actually, doing what we call a uh, localization <laughs> so it's it's a concept where we consist products locally and we build for the global scale that is what could give these developers an edge over their competitors in silicon valley many of the problems that complicate their lives in africa lack of broadband patchy networks inexperienced users are problems everywhere in the emerging world. Localization means their local solutions can have a market far beyond Cameroon in all sorts of fields. I'm working on Scademy, and Scademy is a platform that helps people acquire the startup skills. Great, thank you. And Karina, what are you guys doing? Talking on Viva is an in flight entertainment for buses and trains. Okay, and we're going to see more of that at the bus station tomorrow, I think. Yeah. And then over here, for Ritz, first of all, what is Theme and how do you spell it? Uh, theme is spelled F E E M and it's the best way to transfer files between mobile, tablet, and desktop devices. Theme is convenient, but it's a necessity if you don't have broadband. Everybody who uses Theme, like, uh, especially in India or dev the developing nations, since the internet is very slow, they really want to be able to transfer files very fast. So your potential market is the entire developing world? We're aiming for global domination, yes. <laughs> <laughs> if I check my statistics right now, let's just quickly. So yes, yeah, so we have our users from right now, we have uh, Philippines, we have India, Sri Lanka, we have Cameroon, we have United States, we have etc. Theme has a million users around the world and is already bringing in money. <laughs> Other 
projects like Viva are just getting off the ground. So, hey, man, it's six o'clock in the morning. What are we doing here? Well, the first one's the only leaves right now. Go to Yen Okay, yeah. let's go take a look at Viva and how it works. All right, let's go. Mo is a little nervous this morning. He's testing Viva on the eight hour ride to the capital. He's just trained the hostesses and he knows that presentation is everything. There's a new series on bus this morning, Viva. Viva allows bus and train operators to provide airplane style entertainment to their customers. So Mo, how does the Viva box work? Okay, so essentially Viva box is a mini PC and now we've uh, developed the software that runs it. So um, it's connected to a power source, and you have an antenna, and then you have a data storage for over 80 movies. Okay, and then what do the passengers get to see? Okay, so the box creates a Wi-Fi signal. Uh -huh. Now the Wi-Fi signal can be accessed to a tablet, smartphone, or laptop. So they, this is what they see, uh -huh. all right? So if I click on the new section, for example, you have content here, okay. and they can scroll through and watch videos. For example, this is a really cool video oh, okay. for this Thank you very much. And do you have rights to this content? France 24, of course, but how about the other content? Well, uh, we work with the bus company who requires the rights to the videos. The passengers appreciate the range of programming. For me, I'm a newsman. I would like to watch news and uh, keep calling. Uh, I've seen several movies that are movie people, mm -hmm. that are kids, entertainment, and uh, I've also seen that music for those who love music. Like other passengers on the bus, Monsignor admits he doesn't currently have any African-made apps on his phone, but he hopes that will change. Back in Boya, the developers hope that will change too. Over lunch, the million dollar question comes up, investment. Their projects are mostly at the seed level stage, needing a few thousand dollars to buy computers and pay salaries. But some have managed to find angel investment, 25 or $50,000. Some of us are like angel investment. Now you can look at Agro Hop, it's just about angel investment. Um, fee perfect about angel investment, job about angel investment. So I can gracefully say we are at the stage of angel investment. It's not more difficult to raise angel funding in Cameroon. It's very difficult. It's well, impossible. It's really impossible. The next step is venture capital, VC money, hundreds of thousands of dollars or even millions. The startups of Silicon Mountain aren't there yet. And they stress that what they need is investors who are in it for the long term, with the specific experience and contacts they need. So guys, let's go around the table. Each of you tell me one thing that you need to make your project grow to the next level. Let's start with Valerie. Okay, yeah, for me, that would be better payment systems. Okay, for me, that would be product, money for product development and community development. Uh, for me, I think it's regulation. Access to content providers. Skills, media right skills. Distribution channels. I think I need to get more human capital and skill, yeah. Money, but also knowledge, skills, and above all... The real thing we need is the right people, marketing, sales, engineering, uh, legal, uh, business development, yeah. partnership. And do those people exist in Cameroon? Uh, even if they don't, we have to create them. That is how we build software, right? If I could build the software, <laughs> I could build the people I need. <laughs> <laughs>